Hey guys, let's automate the deployment of ELK beats such as metric beat, file beat, etc. using Ansible in this video. What we'll do is we'll create a role for each of the beat that we're going to deploy and also we'll create two roles, one to configure modules on the Elastic server and one to configure modules on the Apache web server for our beat setup. Now the procedure is first we'll download sample configuration files from our existing ELK instance that's deployed manually on GCP. Then we'll create each of these Ansible roles. For Beats installation and configuration, first inside the Ansible role in the tasks, we'll install the Beat. Then we'll templatize the configuration file. Then we'll replace the configuration file on the server. And finally, we'll start and enable Beat. Now for module configuration, which is these two roles, we'll deploy the module configuration file onto the target machine using Ansible. Now let's move on to our lab system. Now the first task is to download our existing beat configuration files from our servers that we've set up previously. So here I've got an SSH connection into my ELK server using the SSH button on my GCP console. This functionality allows us to download and upload files from our GCP instances. Now on the SSH terminal, what I'll do is I'll first type in sudo su to become root. Here I can first copy the configuration file to my temp directory. Then I'll have to change the owner of that file to labit and then change the permissions on that file to 777. So let's do that. So first I'll copy metric beat. So etc metric beat metric beat.yaml and I'll move it to temp as metric beat.yaml. Now next I can go to my temp directory. Here I'll have to change the owner of this metric beat.yaml file. So I'll type in chown labit metric beat.yaml and also chmod 777 metric beat.yaml. Now I can click on this settings icon and choose download file and give the slash tmp slash metric bit.yaml and I can click download to download this file. Now as you can see this file was downloaded. Now what I'll do is I'll pause the video here and I'll download all the other configuration files as well. Now what I've done is I've downloaded all the configuration files from my current ELK instances into ELK config files folder. There's another directory called beats inside ELK config files, which has all the beat configuration files. And then the directory called ELK modules has all the module configuration files for ELK and web server modules has all the module configuration files for the web servers. So now let's move on to create our roles. Now to create our roles, first we need to make sure we are in the roles directory. So Elasticsearch Ansible roles. And inside roles directory, we'll type in Ansible Galaxy in it and the name of our first role, which would be metric beat. And let's create the next one called file beat. After that, let's create audit beat. Next, let's create heartbeat. After heartbeat, we'll create a role called packet beat. Now after this, we need to create the two config roles, which will be used to configure modules. So the name of the first one would be config beats elastic and config beats Apache or web server. Now, once the roles are created, we'll start configuring each of the roles, which will deploy each individual beat onto our target system. So I'll close the terminal for now and I'll go to the role called metric beat to start creating the metric beat configurations inside this role. Now, the first role we'll configure is metric beat. And the first step to do it is to copy the metric beat.yaml file from inside ELK config files directory 
to the templates directory inside our metric feed rule. So I'll copy it from there and paste it inside templates. Now we can start templatizing this file. What I mean by templatizing is we'll start taking the value of configuration settings out of this file into the main.yaml file into our defaults directory. So anytime you need to make any configuration setting change, you do not have to actually touch the template configuration file. You can change the value inside main.yaml itself. So the first value we'll take out is reload.enabled. So I'll copy it. I'll create a variable called reload underscore enabled. I'll copy the variable name, go to main.yaml and give it value true. I'll delete it from here. Likewise, I'll templatize the rest of this file. Now for the URL of Elasticsearch and Kibana, because these URLs remain same for all our beats, it makes sense to keep them outside the specific role configuration. So instead of using defaults and main.yaml, what we'll do is we'll go to the Ansible level and inside the vars directory, we'll create a new main.yaml file here. And what we'll do is the, we'll store the value of this URL inside this main.yaml so that every beat can access this file for our configuration. So under vars and main.yaml, what we'll do is first we'll create a new variable called elastic underscore host and elastic underscore port. Similarly, we'll create kibana underscore host and kibana underscore port. After that, we'll create another one called elastic underscore protocol. Now the value for elastic underscore host and kibana underscore host would be the internal IP address of our ELK server. From our GCP console, We'll copy the internal IP address and paste it here. For elastic underscore port, because we are using port 9200, I'll put in port 9200. And Kibana underscore port would be 5601. Elastic underscore protocol will be HTTP. So now let's go back to our metric b.yaml file. Now here under Kibana and host, we can now modify the value to use these variables. So let me remove this and this would be Kibana underscore host and this will be Kibana underscore port. Now similarly for output dot elastic search this would be elastic underscore host and elastic underscore port. Now for protocol we'll use elastic underscore protocol. Now for the username and password these are stored inside credentials.yaml so we'll use it from there. For our elastic user the username is stored inside elastic underscore username and password is stored inside elastic underscore password. So let's go back to our metric bit.yaml file. I'll paste the variable here. Now we can save this configuration file. So file, save. Now next let's move on to tasks and start writing our tasks to deploy metric bit on target servers. Now the first task will be to install metric bit with the help of apt. So we'll put a comment saying install metric bit. Now name would be install metric bit. We'll use apt to install metric bit. The package we're installing is called metric bit and we'll do update cache so update cache yes next what we'll do is we'll replace the metric bit.yaml file on the target server with this file so we'll put a comment saying replacing the configuration file now name of the task would be replace default metric bit configuration file now we'll use template module of Ansible. We'll do src and source is metric bit.yaml. So this file right here and destination for this file would be slash etc slash metric bit slash metric bit.yaml. Now next we can start the metric bit service. So starting metric bit, we'll use the service module. 
the name of service to start is metric beat and state would be started we also want to enable the service so let's say enabled as yes let's put a comment before this task as well so starting metric beat service now we can save this task file and now we can move on to the next beat now next beat we'll configure is file beat so what we'll do is again let's copy the file beat.yaml configuration file and move it inside the templates folder inside our file beat role so templates and i'll paste it here now for tasks and main.yaml what we can do is we can go to metric beat and main.yaml under tasks we can copy everything from this file because the steps are same so we'll move here and we'll paste it in the tasks main.yaml inside file beat and we'll use edit and replace and we'll replace metric beat with file beat so let's just do a replace all and let's just save this file now the next step is to templatize file beat.yaml so i'll do that now and pause the video and come back once i'm done so now i've templatized this file and as you can see i've taken out all the settings into main.yaml inside my defaults directory now we can save these as well so now let's move on to audit beat now for audit beat what we'll do is we'll take the same steps so let's copy the tasks from main.yaml and go to audit beat and tasks and go to main.yaml and paste all the tasks here and let's just do a replace all for file beat and replace it with audit beat and do a replace all so easy and let's go down and copy the audit beat.yaml configuration file and let's move into template directory and paste it here and let's templatize this file so i'll do it now now it took me a while but i was able to templatize the audit beat.yaml file so you can see that i've got all the variables out of that file and into my main.yaml inside the defaults folder so now we can move on to the next bit which is packet bit now here as well same thing first we'll copy the packet beat.yaml file from elk config file so i'll copy it and move it inside templates directory now for tasks let's just copy the task from metric beat so metric beat tasks and main.yaml so let's copy all of this into packet beat so find metric beat and replace it with packet beat in this file so i'll do a replace all now we can start templatizing the packet beat.yaml file so i'll pause the video here and do it so i was able to templatize the packet beat.yaml file now let's save these files so file save all and now let's move on to heartbeat so first we'll go to elk config files i'll copy heartbeat.yaml and paste it inside templates directory under heartbeat role now for tasks let's do the same thing so i'll copy the tasks from metric beat and i'll paste it inside the tasks directory in heartbeat now here let's do an edit and replace and find metric beat and replace it with heartbeat dash elastic and do a replace all and i'll change the comments because the beat is called heartbeat but the package that is deployed is called heartbeat dash elastic now after this let's start templatizing heartbeat.yaml so i'll pause the video again now i was able to templatize the heartbeat.yaml file as well this is our role configuration for our beats done now what we'll do is we'll configure the roles for config beat elastic and config beats web server these two roles are used to configure the modules for our beats so we'll configure the elastic role first now what we'll have to do is we'll have to go to elk config files and then under elk modules let's move these files to our config beats elastic role so i'll copy the folder file beat 
and under templates I'll paste it same with heartbeat and metric beat now once we've done that we can go to tasks and main.yaml now all we are doing for the role config beats elastic is moving the correct module configuration files onto the target machines so first let's move the config files for metric beat now I'll create a new section by making a comment and I'll call it metric beat module configuration now I'll create the first task under this name and I'll call it replacing elastic search x pack and we'll use the template module and source is metric beat slash elastic search x pack dot yaml and destination is slash etc slash metric beat slash modules dot d slash Elasticsearch expect.yml. Now, next, let's replace Kibana expect.yml. So, name replacing Kibana expect. Actually, let's change this replacing to configuring. Configuring Kibana expect. And there was a syntax error there. So, template. Source metric beat slash kibana expat dot yaml and destination is let me just copy this bit and paste it here kibana expat dot yaml. Now for the last one, let me just first copy the whole thing because it's easier that way and we are configuring beat x pack so i'll change this to beat i'll change this to beat as well so that's the part for metric beat done on elk server next let's create the tasks to configure file beat modules so file beat module configuration now same thing let's just first copy one of these paste it here and open up file beat so I can get rid of this get rid of this and change this to file beat and here as well it's going to file beat modules d and it's replacing the elastic search file now let me copy this and paste it here and let's change this to Kibana and kibana.yaml now next let's configure heartbeat so heartbeat module configuration let's copy one of these now let me close this and open that so here we can say configuring http monitor for heartbeat and we're going to oh, heartbeat slash http.yaml and the path is slash etc slash heartbeat slash monitors dot d slash http.yaml and let's just copy this and paste it here and change the monitor type so tcp monitor and the files will be tcp.yaml and here we can type in icmp monitor and the file would be icmp.yaml now let's just save this file so file save and let's move on to config beats web server and do the same thing so let's go to elk config files and from web server modules let's copy file beat and paste it under templates and let's copy metric beat 
and paste it under templates as well and let's open up the tasks directory and main.yaml and let's just copy one of the tasks from our other config beats elastic configuration file so that we don't have to type everything let me minimize this now here under file bit we need to move apache.yaml so configuring apache module and this goes into file bit slash apache.yaml and etc slash file bit slash apache.yaml and for metric bit we need to configure apache and bit expect module so i'll make a task here metric bit module configuration so this can stay as is for bit expect and i'll do a copy again and the name would be apache and apache.yaml and destination is modules.dn apache.yaml now we can save this file now before we move on it's time to templatize our module configuration files so i'll pause the video and do it now welcome back i was able to templatize our module configuration files and what i've done is i've taken out things such as ports used by the bit instances system authentication details and i've move this information into our variable files under the vars folder so all the authentication information is in credentials.yaml and all the other system wide information such as the port used by our various bit instances under the main.yaml file now we can save these files so i'll do a file and save all after this before we move on to configure our playbook let's just do a sanity check so i'll verify whatever information we've entered and see if I can catch any syntax errors in my code now. Welcome back. I was able to find and fix some typo errors. For example, this one here, instead of enabled, I had written enable and I had copied it across all the bit configuration files. So I had to go and make changes to all of the configuration file for my beats for this particular value. So it's very important when you're writing this sort of code to go and review your code for any syntax errors. Now we can do a save all and move to our playbook. Now we'll use the playbook deploy-demo.yaml to deploy our whole ELK demo. So in this playbook, we've got three tasks. The first task deploys Elastic repository onto all of our servers. The second task deploys some roles onto our ELK servers and the third task deploys some roles onto our web servers. The first task is fine. We don't need to make any changes to it because it deploys Elastic repository. For the second task, the first thing we have to do is we have to include the main.yaml under vars. So I'll make it a list and add the second variable file. So vars main.yaml. Now under roles, we'll have to add role for each of the beats. So I'll do that now. Now we've added all the roles needed on the ELK server. So metric beat, file beat, audit beat, hard beat, and config beats elastic. Now I'll make changes to the task for web servers. So again, first let's include the second variable file as well. Now for roles, let me first copy everything from our ELK server role and let me paste it. And on our web server, we need metric beat, file beat, audit beat. We don't need hard beat. We need packet beat instead. And finally, our role is config beats web server. Now we can save this file. Now what we'll do is let's move on to our GCP console. Now inside my GCP console, our original ELK demo virtual machines are all in shutdown state. We won't use these virtual machines. We'll create new set of virtual machines. So I'll create them now. Now I've created three new virtual machines and they're all in powered up stage. So let's copy all the external IPs into our inventory file. So let's first copy the IP address of ELK server. So inventory host, let the IP address. Now I've added all the external IP addresses to our inventory file. 
Now we have to do one more change. We have to go to our VARS and main.yaml and add the internal IP addresses here. So for Elastic Server, our internal IP address is 192.168.1.39. That goes into Elastic underscore host and Kibana underscore host. And the internal IP address of web servers go into web server 1 and web server 2. Now we can save our files. Now let's open up a new terminal window. Let's first check that we can SSH into these servers. So I'll try and SSH to the external IP address of these servers. Successful. Now I'll try the web servers. So now we've successfully established SSH connection from our local machine onto our servers in GCP. Now we can run our Ansible playbook. So let's first check the path. We need to go to Ansible S2 and LS. Let me just clear out of everything. Let's minimize this and move this over to the left side as well. So now we can type in Ansible playbook minus i inventory slash host.yaml and playbook slash deploy dash demo dot yaml and hit enter. It took a while but our playbook has run successfully. So now first let's check if we are able to access the Kibana interface on our ELK instance. So from GCP console, I'll copy the external IP address of our ELK server. I'll paste it here and put in the port for Kibana 5601 and hit enter. Now I'll type in the username and password. Now once you're inside home page of Kibana, let's first check stack monitoring. So menu and stack monitoring. Now one thing to note is that it might take some time for data to start appearing on your Kibana instance. I had to wait 15 to 20 minutes before all my data started appearing. Now as you can see here, I've got monitoring information for my Elasticsearch, Kibana, and all my beat instances inside stack monitoring. So this is a positive first step. Now let's move on to check uptime for our heartbeat monitors. So menu and observability and uptime. Here you can see the status of all our heartbeat monitors. After this, let's have a look at some dashboards that were built for us. So menu and dashboards. Now first let's have a look at dashboards built from our audit data. So audit beat and overview ECS. Now in this dashboard, you can see some event categories, event actions, etc. Now let's have a look at the error and access logs from our Apache web servers. So here let's type in Apache and let's have a look at file bit access and error logs ECS for Apache. Now this dashboard shows you unique IPs, response codes over time, top URLs, error logs over time, etc. So this is how you can do a completely automated install of Elasticsearch using Ansible playbook. I hope you've enjoyed this content so far. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please share this content with your friends and family. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.